In this video, we are going to look at coding Chapter 4, Endocrine, Nutritional, and Metabolic Diseases, codes E00 to E89, and Chapter 11, Diseases of the Digestive System, code set K00 to K95. Again, remember the coding guidelines to follow for that chapter are in the front of each chapter. Again, all the coding guidelines to follow are in the front of your ICD-10 CM coding manual. Chapter four, you'll notice, has coding guidelines specifically for coding diabetes mellitus, about a page and a half, while chapter 11, the diseases of the digestive system, do not currently have any chapter-specific coding guidelines to follow. So I encourage you to go over the chapter four, endocrine coding guidelines referencing diabetes mellitus. And let's go ahead and look at using the front of our manual, the alphabetical index, to find the codes just like regular. So for diabetes mellitus, <clears throat> for example, we would go to D, to diabetes, And just regular diabetes mellitus, we can see is code E11.9. If the patient has a complication or comorbidity can, uh, associated with the diabetes, you can see all the WIS. Um, there's some on this page due to all the WIS. So there's quite a few entries for diabetes all the way to this page. So about two full pages for coding diabetes. So make sure to read in the alphabetical index closely when you're coding diabetes and make sure and, and review those coding guidelines. So for this chapter, I do have three coding cases actually from both chapters. One from the endocrine system, two from the digestive system that we're gonna practice. Again, pause the video after I give you the scenario, look it up, see if you can find the correct code, and then unpause the video to compare. So our first scenario is our patient has polycystic ovarian syndrome. So hopefully you have found the code E28.2. So E28.2 is polycystic ovarian syndrome. So remember, you always look it up in the alphabetical index, verify in the tabular. So to look up this code, we're gonna go to syndrome. And from there, syndrome of what? Well, syndrome of the ovary. So we're gonna go to syndrome, ovary, and then polycystic to get our E28.2. A next case, our patient is coming in and has an acute appendicitis with perforation and localized peritonitis with an abscess. That's a mouthful, so make sure to write this down and then pause the video to look up the code. Again, an acute appendicitis with perforation and localized peritonitis with abscess. So for that acute appendicitis with perforation, localized peritonitis, and abscess, we would assign the code K35.33, which reads acute appendicitis with perforation and localized peritonitis with abscess. Again, you always want to look for notes, includes, excludes, remarks while you're in the tabular list. So to look up this code, if you struggled with this one, we go to A, to appendicitis, so appendicitis starts right down here at the bottom, and we wanted to make sure we go to acute appendicitis, so appendicitis acute with 
peritonitis localized with perforation and abscess. That's how we get our K35.33. Okay, our last case for this video is our patient is a 56 year old male who's coming in with irritable bowel syndrome with diarrhea. Again, irritable bowel syndrome, or you'll see that abbreviated IBS with diarrhea. So the code we would assign for that one is K58.0. K58.0, irritable bowel syndrome with diarrhea. And to look that up, we're gonna go to syndrome. And then once you get to syndrome, what, what is the syndrome? Well, the syndrome is irritable bowel. So we go to irritable bowel, and then we can pick with diarrhea right there, and we're given K58.0.